son. Has he provided his music? He is very busy about it. But sister, I can tell you strange news that you've yet drummed out of. Are they good? Has he been stamped them? When they have a good cover, they show well outward. The Prince and Count Claudio walking in a thick pleached alley in my orchard were thus much overheard by a man of mine. The Prince discovered to Claudio that he loved my niece, your daughter, and meant to acknowledge it this night in a dance. And if he found her accorded, he meant to take the present time by the top and instantly break with you of it. Hath the fellow any wit that told you this? A good sharp fellow? I was sent for him and questioned him yourself. No, no. We will hold it as a dream till it appear itself. But I will acquaint my daughter with all that she may be better prepared for an answer if peradventure this be true. Go you and tell her of it. There is no measure in the occasion that breeds. Therefore, the sadness is without limit. You should hear reason. And when I have heard it, what blessing brings it? If not a present remedy, at least a passing sufferance. I wonder that thou, being as thou sayest thou art, born under Saturn, goest about to apply moral medicine to mortify mischief. I cannot hide what I am. I must be sad when I have cause, and smile at no man's jests. Eat when I have stomach, and wait for no man's leisure. Laugh when I am merry, and claw no man in his humor! Yea, but you must not make full show of this. You may do so without. Controlment. You have of late stood out against your brother, and he hath taken newly into his grace. Where it is impossible that you should take true root, but by the fair weather that you make yourself, it is needful that you frame the season for your own harvest. I had rather be a canker in a hedge than a rose in his grace, and it better fits my blood to be disdained of all than to fashion a carriage to rob love for many. In this, though, it cannot be said that I am a flattering, honest man. <laughs> it must not be denied. I am a plain dealing villain. I am entrusted with a muzzle and enfranchised with a claw. Therefore, I have decreed not to sing in my cage. If I had my mouth, I would bite. If I had my liberty, I would do my liking. In the meantime, let me be that I am and seek not to alter me. Can you make no use of your discontent? I make all use of it, for I use it only! Who comes here? What news, Baraccio? I came yonder from a great supper. The prince, your brother, is royally entertained by Leonata, and I can give you intelligence of an intended marriage. Will this serve for any model to build mischief on? What is he for a fool that betroths himself to unquietness? Mary, what is the brother's right hand? Who? The most exquisite Claudio? Even he. A proper squire. And who? And who? Which way looks he? Mary, or Hiram, the daughter and heir of Leonata. A very forward march chick. How come you to this? Being entertained for a perfumer as I was smoking a musty room, Comes me the prince and Claudio, hand in hand in sad discourse. I whipped me behind the arras, and there heard it agreed upon that the prince should woo Hero for himself, and having obtained her, give her to Count Claudio. Come, come, let us thither. This may prove food to my displeasure. That young startup hath all the glory in my overthrow. If I can cross him any way, I bless myself every way. You are both sure. And will assist me? To the death, my lord. Let us to the great supper. Their cheer is the greater than I be subdued. Would the cook were up my mind. Shall we go prove what's to be done? We'll wait upon your lordship. 